Welcome, I'm Becca Peters. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and a facilitator of mindfulness, meditation, and compassion. And today I'd like to walk you through a few steps and practices to cultivate calm and greater ease in your daily life. A recent study from Harvard tells us that a wandering mind is not a happy mind. Harvard created an app where they asked 2,500 people to participate in receiving a text message at different points during the day. They were asked two questions. Number one, what are you doing? And number two, what are you focusing on right now? And what they learned is that 47% of our waking hours we are distracted. And they also learned that we're happiest when we're paying attention to what it is we're actually doing. Whether it be grocery shopping, laundry, dishes, anything at all. As long as we have our attention on the present moment and paying attention to the sensations of our present moment, we actually increase happiness. So I'd like to instruct you today on a basic mindfulness, breath focus meditation. So if we practice sitting on our cushion, taking our seat, and bringing our attention again and again to our breath, we start to strengthen that muscle of attention, much like when we go to the gym and we practice lifting weights, we practice getting the muscle bigger and bigger. The same thing happens with mindfulness and meditation practice. The more we practice, the stronger that muscle of resiliency becomes. We always begin with taking our seat. So finding a comfortable position, whether on a cushion or on a chair. The most important aspect is to make sure that you're comfortable. Your posture may not look like this. We all have different body shapes and types and flexibility. So find a posture where you can be comfortable. If you are seated on a chair and your feet are not touching the floor, I would invite you to scoot a little bit forward so the soles of your feet are touching the floor. If you're seated on a cushion, checking in to make sure that you're comfortable, your spine is nice and upright and relaxed. Taking a few deep inhales and perhaps even rolling the shoulder blades, eventually allowing the shoulder blades to fall down the back. Softening your belly, relaxing. This is our place of intuition and wisdom, so we want our bellies to be nice and relaxed. Finding an upright posture with ease. Finding a place where you can hold your hands without fidgeting because as we know to still the mind, it's helpful to still the body. And you can either allow your eyes to gently close, which is recommended so that you can allow your attention to turn inward. If your eyes are closed and that feels good, stay there. If for any reason having your eyes closed feels uncomfortable, that's okay. You're welcome to open your eyes and let your gaze rest gently at the floor in front of you. And finding your breath. First, just noticing the gentle rhythm of your natural breath moving in and out of the body. Breathing in and breathing out. There's nothing you have to do. No other place to go or to be. Right here. We usually feel the breath in our body most easily in one of three places. And I'll walk you through those places now. Bringing your attention to your belly. Again, if you'd like to bring one or both hands there. Just noticing the rise and the fall of the belly. You can even imagine that you're breathing in and out of your belly. So taking a few moments to simply let your attention rest on the belly. Just noticing the rise and the fall, the expansion and contraction of the belly. The next spot that you might feel your breath most readily or easily is in the chest. Again, you're welcome to bring one or both hands to your chest. And imagine that your attention can land right in the center of your chest. Just pay attention to your breathing as your chest rises and falls. 
Your ribs expand and contract. Breathing equally, side to side, front to back. And the third spot that we can feel the breath moving most readily and easily in and out of the body is the nostrils. And for many of us, that's the place that we like to anchor our awareness because many of us breathe throughout the day in and out of our nostrils. So I'd like you to bring your attention to the tip of the nose. Again, eyes are closed or lightly open. And in your mind's eye, can you see the tip of your nose? Can you see the outline of your nostrils, bringing all of your awareness to the tip of your nose? And now I would like you to pay attention to the sensations of breathing in through the nostrils and out through the nostrils. You might notice a change in temperature. The inhale might be cooler and the exhale might be warmer. Can you trace the breath as you inhale and it moves all the way to the back of the throat? And again, out of the nostrils. Maybe you even notice the air as it touches that area right below your nose and above your lip. As your exhale gently caresses. So I'd like you to choose one of those three spots that feels the most easy, the most simple, either letting your attention rest on the belly, the chest, or the nostrils. And just observing every inhale and every exhale. And remembering that we are distracted nearly half of our waking hours, which means naturally your mind will distract you with thoughts, feelings. There might be sounds in the room that are distracting. Whenever that happens, it's no big deal. It's actually a part of being human. It happens to all of us. When you become distracted, you simply label it with one word, such as thinking or hearing, feeling, and gently and kindly return your attention back to your breath. So as you bring your attention again and again back to that point, that anchor point in your breath, utilizing every distraction as a gentle reminder that your attention is straight, we're going to sit together in silence for a few moments and I'll ring the bell at the end of our practice. Taking a nice deep inhale and on the exhale, allowing your eyes to gently open. Thank you for your practice.